was a picturesque scene in neighborhoods today, but the snow did bring problems in the overnight hours. CBS 17 Steve Sprasia tracked power outages and black ice accidents. By daylight, from the air, things look really pretty following the storm. But during the dark hours this morning, the storm had a darker side. As the temperatures dropped and the morning commute began, black ice accidents abounded. This one on Wade Ave eastbound involved multiple vehicles. Raleigh police tell us that a vehicle driven by a Capitol Police officer spun out on the overpass above Edwards Mill Road. After the officer got out of her vehicle, police say that a second car spun out, striking her in the leg, breaking it. She was taken to the hospital. Wade Ave eastbound was reopened after DOT crews put extra salt treatments on the overpass. About 5 o'clock this morning, Duke Energy crews responded to a power outage caused by this toppled tree on Grinnell Street in Raleigh. And though the tree fell last night, it took contractors several hours to get to the scene to begin removing it. Utility crews say the tree fell in such a way that once it was removed from the power lines, the lines would bounce back up without having to be restrung. That would allow them to be re-energized without any major issues. Power lines also caused headaches for drivers here in Morrisville after a major artery was shut down. A large section of Aviation Parkway was closed to motorists between Dominion Drive and Crabtree Park because power lines came down in the middle of the road. Police say the lines went down about 7 o'clock last night during the height of the storm. I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS 17 News.